Hi, introduction to computer vision with OpenCV, where I guide you through the setup of all the computer vision tools that you'll be using in this course. That includes Python, OpenCV4, and TensorFlow 2.0. So let's take a look and let me show you what actual versions of the tools we'll be using in this course. So we start with Python and a minimum version of Python 3.6 is necessary for this course. We ideally use 3.7. Possibly, if you're doing this course months later or years later from its release, you can probably use Python 3.7, 3.8, 3.9, maybe even version 4.0 if it ever comes out. Secondly, we're going to be using OpenCV 4.x. Now, you can use 4.0. We're going to use 4.2, and everything should be similar in later versions of OpenCV 4.x. Similarly, the third module we'll be going to be using and focusing a lot on is TensorFlow 2. Now, TensorFlow 2.x, I fully believe any version 2.x and above will be supported by the code on this course. We specifically use version 2.10 in this course. Now, I'm going to take you to some important links here. Now, these links are subject to change sometimes. However, these core links should remain the same. And if you follow my install guide, you'll probably be able to find everything you need to find just by searching for it on Google. Uh, these are the three main things you'll need. Anaconda is our data science distribution platform that comes with Python version 3.6. This is what we'll be using in the course. Then we're going to download TensorFlow. Well, actually, you're not going to download TensorFlow. You're going to install the module directly from the command line using pip. So I'll show you guys how to do that shortly. And then you're going to get course code from this GitHub repository here. So let's get started with our install as I guide you through the, all the steps needed to set up your computer vision modules. So firstly, go to Google and let's start downloading Anaconda with Python. So Anaconda, just type in Anaconda Python here in your Google search engine. And that should bring up the Anaconda page here. So just click this link here. And now you, what I want you to do is scroll down a bit to the individual edition and press download now. That brings up a page here where you have to select a version appropriate for your system. You can choose Mac, Linux, and you can actually look at the 32-bit or 64-bit versions as well. Now, I'm going to want you to use the Python 3.7 version and download the version that's suitable for your system, whether it's 64-bit or 32-bit. So when that's finished downloading, click on the installer, and I'll go through the install here. Just use the default settings when the install box pops up, default directories. Leave this alone. You don't have to click the first one, and it just takes a few minutes to install. I'm fast-forwarding it through here, then press Next. Next again, and you can bring this up if you want to learn more about Anaconda on your own. It's fully up to you. So now we're finished installing Anaconda. So when that's finished, I want you to go to your start menu and you'll find your Anaconda tree install here. Click on Anaconda prompt, not Anaconda PowerShell, Anaconda prompt. And that brings up this command prompt dialog box here. So the first thing I want you to do is type out conda create dash n cv dash dash clone base. What you're doing here, you're creating a new environment for all your deep learning packages and libraries that we're going to be using in this course. Now, there are just two we're going to install after this is complete. That is OpenCV and TensorFlow. So just press yes when this comes up. This dialog box will pop up about four or five times during the install. Just press yes for each one. And what you've done, you've cloned your base environment in Anaconda. So now you have a brand new clean environment to mess with to install your own libraries. So when it's done, I want you to type conda activate CV. And that way you'll see there'll be CV in this bracket here. It'll change from base to CV after you type this out. And there we go. So your environment has been successfully created, a CV environment. So now just clear the screen and I want you to update pip. So we're going to do type pip install dash dash upgrade pip. And there we go. So just make sure your pip is up to date to the latest vision before continuing. Now I'm going to install OpenCV. So we go pip install OpenCV dash Python. This will install OpenCV. This should take about a minute, maybe a little longer, depending on your internet speed and system processing power. And there we go. So we're finished. Now we're ready to install TensorFlow. So to ensure you're using the latest version of TensorFlow, what I want you to do is type pip install dash dash upgrade TensorFlow. And that will take you to the install here. And it should be quick anyway. And once that's done, you should have OpenCV and TensorFlow. However, we can run a test here and just make sure everything works. You can just Python, and this brings up the actual Python interpreter inside of a command prompt. And then you can import CV2, press enter, and that executes successfully. Then do import TensorFlow, 
as TF. You may get a warning here. However, that's fine. However, if you do get a missing DLL error here, you're going to need to download the C++ Visual Studio redistributable files. And I'll show you how to do that now. So now let me show you how to find the link to redistributable file we need. So go to tensorflow.org slash install slash pip. And that brings up this site here. Now, this takes you to the actual link of the C++ redistributables that you want. This is that right here for Windows 7 or later. Click this link here. And now that brings up the distributable files you want. Now, if you have an x84 64-bit system, click that. And it installs, downloads, and installs. Well, you install it afterward. Likewise, if you have an x86 32-bit processor, you can run, download and run that one as well. So now we just go through the C++ redistributed installations. Fairly simple. Just click Next from the installer. And there we go. It's successful. So restart your computer after it's installed. So there we go. It's completed and it's successfully installed. So you can restart your computer if you need to. I don't need to because I already have it installed. And now let's move on to the next part of install. After you've restarted, what I want you to do now is go to the GitHub link I supplied to you in the presentation. And uh, what you can do now is download the course code from this link. So what you do is you go to this green button here and press download as zip. And there we go. You don't have to sign in or sign up just yet. Code downloads at the bottom left of the screen and you're fine right there. So then what I want you to do is go to use your WinZip if you have WinZip installed and extract the files right here just so you know where they are. This should take maybe a couple minutes again to unzip. And then what you can do is you can cut this file and place this into your main user directory here. Now the main user directory is just your C drive users slash your username. My name is Rajiv, so I'm going to that directory and paste the files there. Now the reason you're putting the files here is because this is where when you bring up your IPython notebook, which you'll see shortly, it defaults to this directory here. So now you can see my code is here. These are the sections from the course. Everything is set up correctly. Now let's launch our IPython notebook browser. So go back to Anaconda here and you should see something like this, Jupyter Notebook CV in brackets there. That brings up your IPython notebook server, which would launch your default web browser. And it takes a couple of seconds here, depending on how many files you have in this directory, your main user directory. And there we go. So all of your code files are here in this directory, which we cut and paste previously before. So now let's start using our IPython notebook. This is what you're going to be running all your code in. So let's go to new in the top right and open a new Python tree file. So what you can do here, this is a Python command line interpreting system here. So you can import CV2 and press enter and alt to run. Likewise, you can import TensorFlow and press alt and enter to run. And uh, when you run this, you'll see a number coming up on the left, one, two. You can even do some addition here just to make sure it works. And if you wanted to rename your window, just rename the file like that. So now let's actually just test some of the code here from the notebook. So go to section one's code and you will see the code right here. So this is code you'll be using in the course with all the comments and guidelines for it. And basically you're done now. So just to quickly summarize what you've learned in this install guide video, you've learned how to install Anaconda, which is our Python data science platform that we'll be using throughout this course. You've learned how to create a new environment where we install all our computer vision packages, which are TensorFlow and OpenCV. Then you've learned how to download our code from GitHub, and then you started running your code in your own IPython notebook. So now stay tuned. We'll move on to image formation and digital representation in the next video. Thank you.